ज्ञान है सच्चे भक्तों ब्रह्म निवाह स्वी ब्रह्म निवाह स्वी नारायण पद्म विशिष्ट शक्ति चतुत्र पराशर च व्यास गोविंद युग शिष्य शंकराचार्यता से पद्म पाद शास्त्रावलकं शिष्यम तंतोटक वाक्युस्मदुरू संतमस्मे श्रुतिष्णुति प्राणनाल भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव पादरायण सूत्रभाष्यको वंदे भगवत ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मी मूर्ति भेद विभागिने धूमवद्यादेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम सहनावत सहन उन सह वीर करवाहि तेजस्व नावी समस्तमा पिशावही शांतिशाशाति प्रहिनोति तस्म तगुंहदेवत्मबुद्धि प्रकाश मुक्षुर वै शरणमहम प्रपद्ये लुकिंग we finished the 14 sutra we finished the 14 sutra which said in the antaradikaranam antarupapatte he meaning the akshigata purusha is brahma <coughs> not the pratibimba not any one other than the paramatma brahma bimba antara upapatte it is tenable because the atmatva amrutatva abhayatva all these talked about in the chandogya mantra there are possible only in the case of parmatma <coughs> then we looked at sthanadi upadeshaacha the sthana is only for the upasana as to elsewhere hiranyashmashru one with a golden mustache is the form in which parabrahma is to be meditated upon similarly here yash chakshushi tishtan that parabrahma who is in the i is upasya so since we had a gap i am doing a recap of the adhikarana and then the next sutra we just began as to prakranad api akshistha parmatma eva upadishyate tyah due to prakrana also due to the section there the context is of परब्रह्म परमात्मा हाउ सो सुख विशिष्टा विधान सॉरी सुख विशिष्टा विधान सुख विशिष्टा विधान सो द सूत्र से सुख विशिष्टा विधान देर ईज उपासना टीचिंग ऑफ सुख दि वन हू इज सुख विशिष्ट नाउ समन में आर्ग्यू दैट देर इज सुखा इन जीवा ऑल्सो वाई नॉट जीवा भी उपास्य देर इज सुखा इन विषय ऑल्सो वाई नॉट विषय भी उपास्य सो देर द टीचिंग एज वी सॉ इन दी उपकौशल विद्या वॉट वॉज टॉट वॉज प्राणो ब्रह्म कम ब्रह्म खम ब्रह्म वाक्योपक्रमे श्रूयम यत सुख विशिष्ट ब्रह्म तस्व इह अभिधाच्यर्थ so what was taught to upakosala by agni devata and then finally narrated by upakosala to jabala satyakama jabala is the teaching which was about brahma and that brahma is upasya tasseva ih abidana here also it is the same brahma which is being discussed which was said to be as what kam brahma kham brahma pranaha brahma but our focus is on kam brahma what is kam there so the ka which is brahma kha which is brahma is not ka kha ga ganya that kind of a akshara then what is that ka ka is sukha kha is akasha so we hear the vipatti when you hear khaga khaga is a bird because khe gachyati ti khagaha हे आकाशे गच्छति इति खगः 
that which flies that which goes by the path of the sky is khaga so that kha is akasha so akasha is brahma prana is brahma we have seen this prano brahma akasha brahma in other sutras here ka brahma ka is also brahma what is ka there that ka is sukha it is well known it is well known in uh, vedas ka is used for swarga also because swarga se sukha roopatvat swarga is sukha roopa therefore ka is sukha and that sukha is brahma sukha there is no other sukha really now what is mentioned here as to uh, ka brahma that sukha is brahma that sukha is which sukha this may be a question so that is dealt with in the bhashya there if you look up the bhashya there i think the mantra is uh, uh, atha hagneya samudire uh, sorry atha ha agneya ha sam udire taptah brahmachari kushalam nah paryachari dhantasmai prabhravami ti tasmai ho ho chuhu so the teaching to that brahmachari who was crying there is what prano brahma kam brahma kham brahmi ti so this much is quoted earlier is this prakarana there what is the context that is set as per the akhyaika now in in fact in uh, durga sukta ityadi also you hear, hear the word nakam so that ka is sukha kam sukham then na sukham iti akam and then na akam iti nakam so from sukha ka as sukha aka is not sukha and then again which is dukha basically and not dukha is naka so there by also you know ka is sukha so that's how it is taught the word naka is taught in such a manner nanj to ka and then nanj to aka that is naka so this ka sukha being brahma if you look at look at the bhashya uktva tushni bhute ityadi i'll skip uh, in brahmacharya asmat bhaktay dukhitay so one who was dukhi upakosala was sad that he was not graduated by the acharya then tapasvine but he has been doing agni seva since 12 years in brahmacharya asrama he was a tapasvi so shraddha dhane sarve anushasma what did they teach so brahma vidya brahma vidya is brahma vidya and brahma upasana so what is the teaching prano brahma kam brahma kham brahme iti and then you there is nothing much there if you go to the next mantra which is also where the word ka and kha occur sa ho acha vijanya vijanami aham yat pranah brahma kanchatu khancha na vijanami iti now when he was taught prano brahma he had no issues then kam brahma and kham brahma there was an issue in understanding there upakosala heard that but he was not able to land on the meaning and then te ho chuhu yadvavakam tadevakam yadevakam tadevakam iti prananja hasmai tadakasham cho chuhu when he was unable to understand what is this ka and kha how can ka be brahma kha be brahma but he had no issue when prano brahma was mentioned he was able to understand but when ka and kha are said to be brahma he was unable to make sense of it why we see in the bhashya there bhagwan bhashyakar said what is the question na vijanami when he expresses this doubt na vijanami i do not understand what what do you not understand कंच तू खंच न विजाना सो आई डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड क एंड ख सो देर भगवान भाष्यकार रेज इस डाउट ननु कखंग शब्द योरपी सुखाकाश विषय प्रसिद्ध पदार्थक बिकॉज अरियर अतः सी वॉट हेज बीन मेन्शन देर इफ यू लुक एट दि भाष्य सह उच ब्रह्मचारी विजाना अहम यद 
yadbhavadbhiruktam what has been taught i understand i i know i know this meaning this is not new to me when you say prano brahma prasiddha padartha katvat prano brahma iti i know prana is used in the sense of brahma it is prasiddha so this knowledge i already have so when you talk about brahma vidya what else can you teach me i need to gain some new knowledge so sa yasmin sati jeevanam yad apagame cha na bhavati when prana is there so sati sa yasmin sati yasmin prane sati jeevanam bhavati prana uh, jeeva is prana dharani so as long as prana is there then jeeva is there in the sharira yad apagame cha na bhavati when prana goes away there is no jeevana the sharira loses its life tasmin vayu visheshe loke rudha in that that kind of a vayu vishesha prana this brahma shabda is rudha rather prana shabda is rudha in brahma rudhyartha of prana is also brahma so we understand that i know this अतः युक्त ब्रह्म देर फोर आई नो द वे दिस वायु विशेष प्राण इज यूज एज लाइफ गिविंग एंड दैट लाइफ गिविंग सोर्स इज ब्रह्म देर फोर दैट प्रसिद्धि इज देर ब्रह्म तण से उक्त युक्त इट इज युक्त तदुक्त उक्त सो वॉट हेज बीन टॉट इज वेरी वेल अंडरस्टूड बै मी बिकॉज इट इज टेनेबल तेन प्रसिद्ध पदार्थ कत्वाजानी अहम यण ब्रह्म सो ऐ नो वट दिस प्राण ब्रह्म टीचिंग इज हाउ एवर कंच तो खंच न विजानी नौ यू हव टू एक्सटेड इट इज नॉट दैट हि डज नॉट नो क एंड ख हि डज नॉट नो हाउ क एंड ख आर प्रसिद्ध एज ब्रह्म और हाउ दे आर ब्रह्म इवन दो अप्रसिद्ध आई वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड एस्पेशली इफ अप्रसिद्ध आई वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज न्यू टू मी सो नौ भगवान भाष्यकर रेज पूर्वपक्ष दे ननु कखम शब्द सुखाकाश विषय प्रसिद्ध पदार्थक कस्मा ब्रह्मचारिण अज्ञान हाउ इज इट दैट ब्रह्मचारी हू हेज स्टडीड फॉर ट्वेल्व इयर्स इन गुरुकुल एज एन अंत्यवासी हाउ डज ही नॉट अंडरस्टैंड क इज सुख एंड ख इज आकाश इट इज प्रसिद्ध सो देर भगवान भाष्यकार से सर्टनली सो It is not that he does not understand ka ka. When he says ka and ka na vijana me and prana ha brahma vijana me. What it means that ka ka or brahma that I do not understand. So no no. He is certainly so. What he will object to is right, but then his question is not regarding ka and ka. It is regarding the vidhya as brahma. He knows Uddesha very well. He knows Ka and Kha very well, but the Vidhya Brahma he does not know. How can they be predicated to be Brahma? So now, Nam Sukasya Kham Shabda Vachya Sya Kshana Pradham Sita Tvat Kham Shabda Vachya Sya Cha Akasa Akasa Sya Achetan Sya Pratham Brahma Tvam Iti Kimanyate. So what is his question? How is it that this ख शब्द वाच्य सुख विच सुख क्षण प्रध्वंस इट हेज क्षण प्रध्वंस दैट सुख विच इज आगंतुक विच इज सो मोमेंट्री दैट बाय द टाइम यू आर एबल टू रिजॉइस इट्स ऑलरेडी गॉन वृत्ति विशिष्ट सुख दैट सुख कैनॉट बी ब्रह्म How can it be Brahma? If at all it is taught, my understanding is cannot be, and it has been taught as Brahma. Then how is it that Shani ka sukha is Brahma? That is his question. Then what about the Kha shabda? Kham shabda vachya se cha akasha se achetana se. Akasha Kha is akasha vachya ka shabda he knows. Upakosala knows, however. आकाश इज अचेतन वेर एज ब्रह्म इज चिद ब्रह्म सच्चिदानंद ब्रह्म सो यू नो चिद ब्रह्म हाउ कैन अचेतन आकाश बी प्रेडिकेटेड एज ब्रह्म कथम ब्रह्म तस्य आकाश से अचेतन से मनते सो हिस्स क्वेश्चन इज दैट 
and now my understanding this cannot be but then it has been taught therefore katham cha bhagavatam vakyam apramanam syad iti how can this teaching of agni devata bhagavad bhagavan be wrong bhagavata agni uh, the uh, bhagavatam because there were three agni devatas who are teaching three they have taken three forms and they are teaching or adara uh, adara vachana bahu vachana can be used but then you see the context there are three agnis who are who come up and teach so how can their teaching be bhagavatam agni naam vakyam apramanam katham syat how can it be apramana the shabda pramana it has to be right so he is unable to have samanvaya there so ataha na vijanami iti therefore he said i do not know i do not know how ka can be brahma how can kha be brahma tam eva muktavantam brahmacharanam teha agneha uchhu then they taught what is the teaching now look at the teaching to resolve the doubt yadvava yadeva yadvava yadeva vava yadeva vayam kam o avocham tadeva kham akasham so what is that ka sukha that itself is kha akasha so it is not that ka which is sukha is brahma and kha which is akasha is brahma separately why both teachings are there because you do not misunderstand the word ka to be vritti vishishta sukha kshanika sukha that is why kha akasha has been put in the same line there same vakya and because you do not misunderstand kha as akasha literally the ka shabda sukha has also been mentioned because akasha is not sukha and sukha is not akasha but both are said to be brahma independently but they are not independently brahma since they are in the same line there they have vishesha visheshana visheshya bhava so that ka which is also kha and kha which is also ka meaning that sukha which is akasha and akasha which is sukha that is brahma so how do you understand that statement also ityevam khena visheshyamanam kam vishesh vishayendriya sanyoga jat संयोगात ओके सो संयोग संयोग सो संयोग जात संयोग ज संयोगात जातः संयोग ज तस्मा संयोग जात सो इति एवं खेन विशेष्यमाणं कम दि सुखा व्हिच इज हैविंग अ विशेषण ऑफ आकाश देन व्हाट इज दिस सुखा akasha being the visheshana for sukha it cannot be visheindriya sanyoga ja sukha it cannot be that sukha which is visheindriya sanyoga ja born out of visheindriya sanyoga it is not that vritti which comes sukha vritti which comes up due to priya vishaya unto which there is a indriya sanyoga it is not that sukha born out of or there is a bhranti that it is born out of that vishaya it is not that sukha because this khena visheshyamanam kam sukham being qualified by akasha that sukha visheindriya sanyoga jat sukhat nivartata nivartitam syat nivartate that sukha which is limited sukha that meaning of limited sukha is been taken away now by qualifying that sukha well known sukha as limited sukha qualifying it with akasha which is vyapaka that meaning is taken away so you don't have limited sukha meaning now you can see that it is brahma that kind of sukha is brahma which is not limited so what i said here is similarly the flip side 
as to this achetana akasha cannot be brahma if that objection is there then the flip side also but here an example is given neelena iva visheshyamana utpalam raktadibhya so what visheshana does has been shown so if you say utpalam then it can be any utpala any lotus any lily when you are talking about then you just say utpala utpalamane but when you say neelam utpalamane then that neela visheshana will take away if there is a red utpala also the red lotus also it will take away that meaning and then neela qualifying that lotus has to be only neela neela utpala so there is another example so those who have studied vyakarana there you have uh, the sutra which says this is dhatu which is a dhatu bhuvadeyo dhatavah so bhuvadeyo dhatavah what is the gana first gana is vadi gana why vadi gana bhu adi eshante vadayah or yasya ganasya sa gana ha vadi gana there bhu and adi ukara and akara sandhi is yana sandhi you will get va so vakara and then vadaya but dhatus are not vadaya dhatava they are bhu vadaya dhatava bhu and va both are mentioned there bhu and va so there another dhatu has been used why is that dhatu why is that used at all so there if you look at the vritti there it says that because bhu and va are sa charita sa patita therefore the bhu meaning bhu meaning prasiddha meaning is also prithivi va meaning is avyaya va as to not this uh, va as in or so there bhu and va being used bhu being in samanadikaran with va not meaning wise but if you look at bhu and va both you can say cha also there need not be in samana adikaranam but there is reading in the same line there in the same sutra so the bhu prithvi meaning which is well known that meaning is taken away when you say va so va meaning is what va meaning can be or as we know so when you say oh prithvi the word prithvi so the, what has the meaning of prithvi prithvi and or these words cannot be dhatus so what is the akanksha there what is the vivaksha so vivaksha akanksha of that vivaksha is very clear when you see that bhu and va both are dhatus sanya dhatu sanya is given to bhu and va and they seem to have no similarity when you look at prithvi and the and or how can they have similarity therefore va qualifying bhu will take away the prithvi meaning and bhu qualifying va prithvi meaning qualifying va or will take away the meaning of or then what you land on is the are these words which are there in the patha bhu sattayam ityadi they are dhatus so thereby avyay artha is also taken away and prithvi artha is also taken away and what you land with is that oh is it this kriya or prithvi it is the kriya is it the avyay or the kriya with va shabda it is the kriya so you land on the kriya artha not the prithvi artha for bhu and you land on the kriya artha not the avyay artha for va similarly here what you land on is what is common across both uncommon is taken away just like what you do in jhada jal lakshana so something similar yadeva kham ityakasham avocham tadeva cha kam sukham iti janihi may you know that akasha which has a visheshana of sukha meaning it is not that 
पंचमहाभूत अंतर्गत आकाश नॉट लिटरली दैट सो यू हैव टू डू लक्षण एंड देन सिमिलरली एवं चुखेन विशेष्य मण खम भौतिकाद अचेतनाथ खात निवर्तित सैत निवर्त सो सिमिलरली द मीनिंग ऑफ आकाश विच इज वेल नोन दैट इज टेकन अवे फ्रॉम ख एंड देन वॉट इज दैट ख दैट इज ख वॉट इज ख इज ख एंड दैट इज ब्रह्म विच इज ऑल्सो प्राण दैट इज सेड इन द मंत्र देर इन देंड एज टू यदवावक तदेव खम यदेव खम तदेव कम प्राण एंड देन फाइनली वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड एनी वे यू डोंट हैव इश्यू विथ प्राण विच इज ब्रह्म सिमिलरली क एंड ख आर ब्रह्म दैट इज दी टीचिंग देर सो देर बाय द सूत्र सूत्र इज सिंपल देर बट देन हाउ सो द क्वेश्चन हैज टू बी रिजॉल्व बिकॉज अदरवाइज इट विल जस्ट बी अ स्टेटमेंट विल बिकम परोक्ष ब्रह्मत्व इज फॉर आत्मा दैट ब्रह्मत्व ऑफ आत्मा should finally be landed upon and that process should be used here in upasana kanda also one may not have upasana as aham brahma but then when pranaha brahma kam brahma kham brahma is taught that time in the upasana also one should understand that brahmatvam how can that be literally so so you should apply all the tools which are there at your disposal and understand but then you do the upasana as taught there don't change the upasana but understand the meaning of the mantra and then do the upasana it will give adhika phala further prakranad akshishtasya brahmatvam abhidhaya lingad api tadah now there is a linga also it is not only the context which tells you as to akshistha purusha is brahma but what linga dapi so there is a gnyapaka shabda also it, you you land by indicator also there is a indication given as to akshistha upasya is brahma How so? The next sutra says, "Shruto Upanishad ka gatya vidhana cha." Shruto Upanishad ka gatya vidhana cha. So, Shruta Upanishad. Uh, the words are Shruto Upanishad ka gatya vidhana cha. There are only two words there. In the earlier sutra, Sukha Vishistha vidhana ad eva cha. Three words were there. So, I am not doing much of padachcheda there. I forget actually. So. श्रुता उपनिषद उपनिषद स्त्रीलिंग सो श्रुता उपनिषद इज बेटर सो ये इज अ जनरल वृत्ति षष्टी इज जनरली एप्लीकेबल इन इन मोस्ट केसेस देन यू रिफाइन इट एज टू विच फिट्स बेटर सो यू कैन से ये नज ओके ये न वा सो श्रुता उपनिषद ये ये न वा सह श्रुत उपनिषद क सो दर सामसात बहुरी सामसात क प्रत्यय सो यू गेट श्रुत उपनिषद क गति या गति तस्या गते अभिधाना चो वॉट एवर इज दि गति फॉर अ पर्सन हू हेज Then upasana really as to if he does this upasana, upanishad there is what that upanishad which talks about vidya. What is his gati? I had mentioned this in passing earlier as to what will be the phala to that upasaka. We see the phala as krama mukti via reaching brahmaloka. So his gati is to reach brahmaloka. The upasaka's gati is brahmaloka gati on drop of the body, of course. But then, that brahmaloka prapti will not be possible unless the upasana is brahmo upasana. You can do it with prana drishti, as in brahma drishti in prana. You can do see prana as brahma. You can see sukha as brahma. You can see that 
Akasha as Brahma, you can see Akshigata Purusha as Brahma, all that in keeping with the sections of the Upanishad or in totality, whatever is the final teaching as to how the Upasana has done, has, has to be done. But then without the Brahma Drishti, without the understanding of Brahma, that Brahma Vidyana, Brahma Vidya, Brahma Loka Gati is not going to be possible. And since there is Abhidhana, there is specifically a teaching show. It, ha- it has been pointed out that the Gati of Sachan Upasaka of who does this Akshigata Upasana, Akshigata Kasyapi Upasana, who is that? Kahasa, when you inquire into it, Kimtat, then it has to be Brahma. Why? Because there is a little linga is there. It says that the phala that accrues to the upasaka is Brahma Gati. Now you cannot have Jiva Upasana and get Brahma Loka Gati. Whatever is the phala, if the phala is being said that this is the phala, then you can reverse engineer that and see what kind of upasana has to be there. You cannot have upasana on one and get the phala of another. That is not possible. Therefore also, so linga dapi, shruta upanishad, upanishad is rahasyam. And what is that rahasya in this context? Brahma vidyana. Brahma vidya, vidya there is upasana. Vidyana is in the sense of upasana. So shruta upanishad yasya. Upanishad is rahasyam, meaning Brahma Vidyana. Yasya satatha, satatha is saha, shruta Upanishad kaha. Tasya Brahma Vidaha yagati hi, whatever is the destination of that Brahma with, Brahma with here is Brahma Upasaka. Whatever is his gati, what is the gati? Devayanakya. It is that it's actually Gati is not Gati can be destination also, but here the destination is by the Marga. So Uttarayana Marga, Dakshinayana Marga. Loka is not mentioned in all places. What is mentioned is what is the Gati meaning, what is the course through which he'll reach the destination. And that having taken that course. The destination cannot be loka which is attainable by other margas. It has to be the same course that will reach you to the same loka. It cannot be that you have taken one course and then you reach the other destination. So what is that? Where is it quoted? Atho uttarena tapasa brahma charyena ityadi shrutau. Agnir Jyotira Shukla Shanamasa Uttarayanam It is Mrutaucha Prasiddha So which is the Gati talked about there? The Gati of this Upasaka is Uttarayana Marga Uttarena He goes with Uttara Marga Uttara Marga or Uttarayana Said Smriti Gita says Uttarayana And who are the devatas there? Uttarayana does not literally mean Uttarayana, uh, the half year, half year of Uttarayana and Dakshinayana, not that. It is whoever is the presiding deity of Uttarayana. So if you look up the Bhashya there in Gita Vachana also, you see that. Then, Atha Uttarayana Tapasa Brahmacharana. The person who is doing upasana and does tapas with brahmacharya has uttara gati, meaning uttarayana gati, goes through uttarayana and this reaches brahma loka. Agnir jyoti ahas shukla shanmasa uttarayana vitija smrtaucha prasiddha. So the mantras are quoted here. For the first one is from Prashna Upanishad and the Gita Vachana is well known. So, Atho Uttarena Tapasa Brahma Charena Shraddhya Vidyatmana Vidyatmanam Anvishya Adityam Avi Jayante Avi Jayante Etadvai Prananam Ayatanam Etad Amrutam Abhayam Etad Prayanam Etasmana Punaravartante So, the quotation which is there in the Vritti is partial. 
but then uttarena is there uttarena can be also mean you know swar- one attain swarga loka why not it be swarga loka <coughs> so you have to read the entire mantra you look at it punar na punaha na avartante so there is a there is a phrase used as to there is no punaravrutti now this if it is taken literally then it will mean that it is krama mukti jnana prapti in brahma loka it cannot be in anywhere else it has to be in brahma loka or there will be janma but then then it will be apekshika the word which is used the nityatvam which is revealed by na punaravartante as to nitya moksha it is not nitya that nityatva there is as do because it is after a very very long time very very long lapse of time therefore apekshika nityatvam can be read there for those who do not attain jnana in brahma loka they will have punaravrutti but those who attain and it is not that difficult it is said to get jnana in brahma loka here it may be extremely difficult but in brahma loka it is very easy chaya tapo riva so as uh, kathopanish says yamaraja teaches nachiketa as to they uh, not chaya tapa uh, it is like that something some words are used like that it is like you know sun and shadow it is like uh, darkness and prakasha light and darkness that kind of a contrast is there in brahma loka it is the easiest to get jnana what is that uh, the, between atma and anatma there is no mix up between atma and anatma as much as it is here in brahma loka atma anatma viveka the contrast is very easy contrast is so much that it is it would be difficult to miss especially if you have some samskara it is difficult to miss therefore it is said that whoever reaches brahma loka will have mukti there may be in fact one of someone who does not get mukti if you see the way it is glorified brahma loka is glorified and contrasted with prithvi loka also as to how the jnana is easy there but it is difficult here then what is the difficulty the difficulty is reaching brahma loka reaching brahma loka is not very easy in fact uh, puja swami used to joke used to say uh, someone may say that uh, i i'll get uh, since it is jnana is easy in brahma loka i'll reach brahma loka and get jnana he says getting jnana here is easier than reaching brahma loka so uh, krama mukti is more difficult because you have to do so much in fact adhikaritvam itself is not there to gain the adhikaritvam upasana these are karmagata upasanas where karma has to be done without karma it is not going to be possible for karma adhikari adhikaritvam is needed that adhikara itself is ceasing because nitya karmas are lacking nitya karmas lacking because of kala kala is like that since kala is like that adhikaritvam is not there adhikaritvam not being there nitya karma not being done kamya karma has no you know you have uh, there is no adhikara in kamya karma they will not give phala even if one is able to do with lot of effort one is able to do kamya karma by calling all the experts spending huge lot of money and let's say one is able to do upasana also the way it is taught still not having adhikara it will not give phala because nitya is lacking without nitya karma there is no adhikara in kamya karma that is why we see today that kamya karma people do but still don't get phala they say so much i have done but i don't get phala why because nitya karma is lacking adhikaritvam is not gained for kamya karma anyway that's an aside to show how it is difficult to reach brahma loka although jnana there may be easy better to try in prithvi loka in this janma here itself here and now so if you read that mantra further atottarin tapasa brahmacharane is quoted but shraddhaya vidyaya atmanam anvishya if you inquire into that once having inquired into that and 
vidyaya atmanam anvishya what is this if if you if you do this upasana then see adityam abhi abhijayante one reaches aditya loka etadvai prananam ayatanam and then etad amrutam abhayam etad parayanam so these are all not swarga lakshanas they are all brahma lakshanas if you look at it is all brahma gati is brahma gati brahma loka gati so etasman na punaravartante and when you look at this uh, quotation agnir jyoti ras shukra shanmasa uttarayanam tatra prayata gachanti brahma brahma vido janah so uttarayana marga is what marga that uttarayana marga where with the upasaka gets tatra prayata gachanti not this, this is not a yata a simple yata some simple traveler who had just dropped the body meaning every jeeva it is not every jeeva every other jeeva it is prayata prakarshe prakarshena yati that prayata who has done the upasana in keeping with the teaching as to what is the upasya he has inquired and he has that vidya through that brahma vidyana one who has done this upasana this upasana then tad upasanam phalati it will give result and then this prayata gachanti what brahma brahma vido janah they say they say so you have to add there for one way you have to add iti vadanti ityadi something like that should be added there so brahma gachanti prayata tatra prayata brahma gachanti so prayataha prayataha there uh, so anyway here again it's a, it can be seen that it is an arsha prayoga there perhaps so because yata is has to be trijanta so trijanta uh, will not decline so in plural but anyway <coughs> um, whatever it is the meaning is, is that the upasakas get brahma loka which upasaka <laughs> this very upasaka which is taught now our insistence is that for samanvaya we are saying all these upasanas finally are upasanas of brahma they may be in various ways and there may be drishti in various deities devatas but the upasya will always be brahma that is where the siddhanti is coming from in this samanvaya adhyaya therefore in which upasana whichever upasana you take currently akshigata purusha upasana so in that upasana brahma is upasya brahma loka is the gati there so brahma is upasya so there aditya chandramasam why so so there you look at aditya chandramasam chandramasa vidyutam tat purusha amanavah sa enan brahma gamayati he there is one amanava purusha there is one purusha there is this gati is with this pit stops at aditya aditya loka chandramas loka then chandra this loka then chandramasa vidyutam vidyul loka then after that there is one so far somebody carries this jeeva upasaka jeeva on dropping of the body but then finally there these guides do not have entry so this upasaka has to be taken and taken to brahma loka so there are you know special uh, person will come and then he'll pick you up so there who is that amanava purusha he is not a manava he is some purusha but amanava purusha that has been mentioned there in chandogya you see that amanava purusha so enan brahma gamayati he makes this person reach brahma meaning he takes this person and who is this person this upasaka jeeva and then he makes him reach brahma loka this is this is a mantra which has been quoted in the vritti later so i just read till it is prutau cha prasiddha but if you look further tasya gate he ihapi aditya chandramasam ityado abhidana so here also it is the same gati which is discussed elsewhere also in mantras aditya chandramasam aditya chandramasam does not tell you there is a brahma loka gati because chand- chandramasa can be if you take it literally chandraloka then it will mean pitraloka 
बट दिस इज नॉट पितृलोका चंद्र चंद्र मस्ट देर इट इज नॉट चंद्र लोका एट ऑल बिकॉज चंद्र लोका के नॉट बी आफ्टर आदित्य लोका सूर्य लोका इज मच आफ्टर चंद्र लोका सो दिस चंद्रमसा इज नॉट चंद्र लोका पितृ लोका विच इज अंडरस्टूड बायस बिकॉज दैट कम्स अर्लियर इन देर जर्नी फिर लुकअप दंत्रा देर और एल्सवेर देर इज दिस इन फैक्ट देर इज आई थिंक इन इतर उपनिषद दिस दिस समअप हैज बीन डन एज टू डिफरेंट मंत्रा टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट लोकास पिटस्टॉप इन दी गति so if you put them all together you will get a proper sequence just like a train you know you take a take two different trains they have different stops but on the map you cannot have the later station before in any train so if you have a journey that the same rail track there are two different trains which are making different stops so different stations are mentioned but if you sequence them put them all together you will get the right sequence as to which is after what you cannot have the later station before and the station which has come up earlier it cannot be later so the names may be confusing but if they you put them together you will have an idea so that sum up is done in some bhashya there i recall it as aitre upanishad somewhere this has been summed up now this chandramasa is That that loka which is after Surya loka, which 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 is 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 after not has has come up earlier. So So Nirnaya has been done. So this Chandra mas is where finally the guides will drop you and another Amana Purusha picks the Upasaka and makes the Upasaka reach Brahma loka. therefore these quotations make sense otherwise athottarena one may not be able to make complete sense unless uttara is understood as brahma loka gati similarly uttarayanam from smruti and chandramas is known as after aditya therefore aditya chandramasa is quoted so those who know that chandramas loka cannot be after aditya loka if you take it as chandra loka they will understand that this brahma loka gati that samskar has to be there from some other upanishad so anyway maybe in chandogya also this discussion comes up but what has been mentioned in bhashya there is that uh, it is the brahma loka is the final destination there or anyway in the mantra itself it is there sa enan brahma gamayati that purusha sah amanavah purushah enan upasak upasakan brahma gamayati एष देवपत ब्रह्मपत एक प्रतिपद्यम इवं मानव आवर्त न आवर्तंते सो देर इज नो पुनरावृत्ति फ्रॉम ब्रह्मलोका दिस इज प्रसिद्ध एन इवे बट अवर फोकस इज ऑन ब्रह्म गमयति सिंस ब्रह्म इज ए फाइनल डेस्टिनेशन व्हिच इज नॉट ब्रह्म एज ब्राह्मण और वेदा इट इज ब्रह्मलोका इट के नॉट बी ब्रह्म एज सच्चिदानंद ब्रह्म निर्गुण ब्रह्म वाई बिकॉज देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ एनी वन एल्स taking this upasaka and reach the swarupa so it is not swarupa artha it is not veda artha it is not brahmana artha it is not uh, brahmachari artha what is this brahma this brahma is brahma loka i am just saying that it is understood but then i am saying that brahma is a loaded word so uh, there may be more uh, questions as to why can't it be uh, you know the para brahma in the sense nirguna brahma nirvishesha brahma it cannot be because upasana cannot give you aikya with nirguna brahma so this is brahma loka gati so that is the shruta upanishad ka gatya vidhana ch itham siddhantam abhidhaya having stated the siddhanta see sometimes what happens is that purva paksha is taken earlier then most of the times you see purva paksha first in sutra purva paksha sutra then you have siddhanti sutras sometimes you have siddhanti sutras and some purva paksha comes up triggered you know from this discussion oh how did this come up so there some purva paksha is mentioned later so purva paksha sutra can be later or purva paksha can come up later in the context of the siddhanti sutra 
और समटाइम्स द पूर्व पक्ष सूत्रास देमसेल्स कैन बी आफ्टर द सिद्धांति सूत्रास स्पेशली यू विल सी टुवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ ब्रह्म सूत्रास सिद्धांत सूत्रास आर बिफोर पूर्व पक्ष सूत्रास एंड देयरफॉर यू हैव सम हु से दैट द सिद्धांत एज इन अद्वैत वेदांत सिद्धांत इज नॉट राइट व्हाई बिकॉज दे कम अप अर्लियर what comes up later has to be siddhanta is the argument of some darshanikas so they say they take the puro paksha sutras which follow the siddhanta to be siddhanta to be the real siddhanta of brahma sutra but it is not so it, it need not be that purva paksha has to be before siddhanta it need not be so although purva means purva paksha and uttara paksha we do say purva paksha and uttara paksha but there is no necessity there is no mandate as to there is no niyama that purva paksha has to be stated earlier it is paksha is purva all right paksha is purva but then just because paksha is purva there is no rule that it should be mentioned earlier it can be mentioned later also so the purva there is not literal purva is in the siddhanta versus uttara and purva are based on the refinement what is refuted is purva therefore we translate as opponent it is the opponent he need not really be an opponent it is only to contrast that it is a earlier and later paksha if someone may say earlier and later there may be confusion as to sequence it is not a sequence sequence in refinement yes but se- sequence in stating it is not there is no necessity that in statement paksha should be purva only then it will be purva paksha it is not that kind of a anvartaka nama the sanya is not that kind of anvartaka it is anvartaka but it is it is in in the refinement in the growth of understanding it is in in the outcome of a discussion or a debate purva and uttara but it is not in stating statement can be later just because you know you know in fact uh, if i say my name is pravin ramchandra bhat because ramchandra has come up later it does not mean ramchandra is my son it is my father so some you have to give some ridiculous example to drive home the point to the person who is objecting oh it came up later so it has to be late it is not that it can be earlier also so you have to understand that statement wise there is no sequencing even sutras you can have later which are purva paksha sutra so itham siddhanta avidhaya purva paksham pratyah towards the purva pakshi there is a statement made having given the siddhanti because there may be some doubts based on this one may say oh why did it not come up earlier it may have come up earlier it is being stated now so i am just taking an opportunity to buffer because later uh, this will get more complicated as to how to purva paksha came up later अनवसिथेरसंभवाच्चनेतरहअनवसिथेरसंभवाच्चनेतरहनाउ bhagwan bhashyakara says i said that it come up later uh, maybe in the mantras or in the sutra itself bhashya comes up later where bhagwan bhashyakara says that it cannot be someone other than the nitya upalabdha paramatma one who is ever available to form a pratibimba that is upasya because in the context i had mentioned earlier as to in another context i had mentioned that later bhagwan bhashyakara will say that it is impossible or it is ridiculous to expect someone some upasaka to get hold of some friend or whoever so that there is a reflection formed in the eye and then that reflection pratibimba becomes upasya it is ridiculous to expect such thing it is not that agantuka which is upasya the upasya should be nitya it should be available it should be something siddha at least the bimba should be siddha you cannot have bimba also agantuka and then 
Pratibimba is also Agandukha. There is no Niyama there. You cannot have such kind of a confusing setup where you do something and then that something is Anitya and then you get something else which is Anitya. Anitya, Anitya and Anitya I am using in not in the sense of uh, uh, you know the Brahma Nityatvam that kind of a thing but you can take it that way also. Bimba has to be there. At, in the Laukika, the Bimba has to be ever available. It is not that the Upasaka searches for some Bimba when the, he is in a mood for Upasana or time for Upasana. So, that kind of a ridiculousness is shown by, uh, by you know, uh, by Siddhanti when Puro Pakshi says that it is someone else, Itaraha, Brahmana Itaraha. Somebody, so he is saying Antara, Antarat Itaraha, Antarat Brahmanaha, Paramatmana, Itaraha, Upasyaha, says Purva Pakshi. Siddhanti says, Anavasthite, he. There will be no avasthiti. Anavasthite, he. Asambhavat, cha. Two hetus are given because Anavasthite, he. Asambhavat, cha. Na, Itaraha. This is the Padacheda. So, na, Itaraha. Antarat, Itaraha, na. Na, Upasya. Antaraha, Brahmana, Paramatmana, Itaraha, Upasya, Na Bhavati, Kutaha, Anavasthite, He, Asambhavacha, says the Siddhanti. Meaning what? Upasakad, Paramatmana, Bhindasya. This cannot be, cannot be the, this Upasaka is Brahma Rupa actually. But then, if you say Bimba, some Bimba is there who is different from the Upasaka. We are not giving uh, Aikya Jnana here, meaning we are not taking the Aikya Tatpare Vishaya of Upanishad and in the Jnana Kanda and bringing it to the Upasana Kanda. We are not doing that. So, we are not saying Upasaka is Brahma. What we are saying that if you say Itaraha, then we will ask you Itara, Kasmad Itara, Antara Itaraha. That Antara we are claiming as Paramatma Brahma, one who is within Akshigata Antara. Puro Pakshi saying is Akshigata is is someone else. Upasa is someone else. Then this Akshi is whose Akshi? Whose uh, Akshi are we talking about? Whose eye? Upasaka's eye. Then someone who is different from the reflection, uh, someone who is reflected in the eye is different from the Upasaka. So you can say Upasaka bhinna. Is itara? Upasaka itaraha is bhinna. One different from the Upasaka is the Upasya. If you say na, Siddhanti says na. If you say so na, who is that? We will ask who is that who is different from the Upasaka. He says yasya kasijit. Yasya kasijit bimba rupasya. Whoever, some bimba is there. Tasya pratibimba bhavati. That pratibimba is Upasya. So yasya pratibimba bhavati. Sa pratibimba Upasya. Kasya pratibimba bimbasya. Kasa bimba, then he will say, Upasaka bhinna yakash, yase kasichit pratimimba hoti. So he says, bring anyone. You bring anyone who will reflect in the eye. And then that pratimimba is upasya. He may say some specifically, this one, that one, whoever it is, whoever you claim to be, that is not upasya. We will have to go back to bimba as. Paramatma, Kutaha, Anavasthite, hey, because there will be Anavasthiti, Tasya Anavasthiti, meaning that someone who is different from the Upasaka, will he be there forever? Will he be Nitya? Avasthiti is not Vyavastha, I said Vyavastha, Vyavastha in the sense Upasana Vyavastha is not going to be possible because there is no sthiti, avasthiti that na avatishtati. He will, that bimba will not be present forever. If you say I will do upasana for 5 minutes stand here, I mean take some ridiculous uh, you know, scenario. This Devadatta says I want to do upasana, he drags Yajnaratta and says so why don't you sit in front of me. The reflection will be immediate and five minutes let me do upasana, you sit there. What kind of a ridiculous expectation would this be? 
the puro pakshi may not know the implication of saying it but if at all he makes such a statement something ridiculous has to be shown so that he himself drops the possibility of such a misinterpretation he understand that it is wrong so we show that anavasthite he you cannot have the bimbasya upasakat bhinnasya yasya kasya chit bimba rupasya bimbasya akshini anavasthite he nityatvena upalabdhi asambhavat there is no possibility possibility of pratibimba being formed as long as you want the upasana to be there by dragging in someone other than upasaka and making him sit in front of you it is not possible so anavasthite he and asambhavach pratibimba will not be possible in that manner when the uh, there is no avasthiti of the bimba so asambhavach pratibimbasya asambhavach we'll see more in the vritti because this asambhava can be re- read in many ways you can say the pratibimba is asambhava that kind of pratibimba for upasaka or you can take the gunas which have been dis- described in the upasana which has already been talked about this amrutatva abhaya these gunas are not possible for for the upasana uh, for the upasya as per the puro pakshi if the puro pakshi says some jiva is upasya that pratibimba which is of the bimba who is other than upasaka someone outside anyone outside all these dharmas which are talked about they are not going to be possible now see this kind of an objection we expect to come up earlier because brahmagati has already been discussed now so brahmagati is an answer to this as well we can say brahmagati because if upasya is non brahma you cannot have brahma loka gati brahmana loka brahma loka kasya brahmana loka upasya brahmana loka that upasya brahma wherever he is that is your destination as an upasaka that is your gati it has been answered therefore also you cannot have upasya as non brahma it cannot be anyone else it has to be brahma so asambhavach so the sutra is very clear there as to na itaraha hetus are given these hetus have already been dealt with in different manner not with these words but we have seen by uh, through the explanation of vrittis and in the bhashya which has been quoted in those mantras of those upanishads or the gita vachana so upasakasya sarvatra akshini pratibimba sampadaka bimba bhuta purushantarasya anavasthanat anavasthite anavasthanat here tin pratyay has been used anavasthite is tin pratyanta which is bhavek tin how do you explain the bhavarth of tin by using lut how do you explain the lut ludanta padas bhave utpatti by giving tin so in bhashya you see jnana satyam jnanam anantam brahma jnanam nyapti hi bhagavan bhashyakara says there jnanam is equal to japti hi by tin pratya he explains that lut ana jnana that pada has bhave utpatti it is in the sense of the dhatu if it is not clear then he says bhava sadhana bhava sadhana or bhava sadhanam bhava sadhana perhaps here so it is a vyutpatti is bhave vyutpatti it is in the shuddha dhatu artha so anavasthiti means avasthana kasya avasthanam pratibimba sampadaka bimba bhuta purushantarasya upasakat bhinnasya purushantarasya bimba rupasya anavasthana there is no possibility of such a upasaka bhinna purusha will be there available as a bimba whose pratibimba will be formed so this bimba bhuta purusha who is other than upasaka who is what bim whose only role is what he has no other business he just has to be there so that pratibimba sampadana is done this upasaka wants to attain pratibimba for that some bimba is needed that bimba can be any purusha who is bhinna from him because he cannot have his own reflection in his eye so he needs someone else so it is foolish to expect such kind of a such kind of an upasana where you drag someone else whose anas avastha avasthana is not there avasthiti avasthana is not there 
where will you get the pratimba avasthana to do upasana so sarvatra wherever this upasaka is wherever in the he wants to do akshigata purusha upasana he has to find a pratimba he has to wait for the pratimba to form and he can't wait so he has to drag someone and bring a bimba to form a pratimba so it, it, it is ridiculous that is what is being shown in the vritti asambhavach another hetu because of impossibility impossibility of what amrutatvaadi gunanam the amrutatva abhaya these gunas which have been talked about in the mantras in the upasana prakarana <coughs> sorry in the vishaya mantra sorry <coughs> न न इतर देर्फोर वॉट न इतर छायात्मा इतर न छायात्मा इतर न छायात्मा इतर सॉरी सो छायात्मा वॉट हेज बीन टॉक्ड अबउट देर दैट कैंड ऑफ डिस्कशन इज नॉट देर इन दि से ऑफ छांदोग्य वेर उपासना इज टॉक्ड अबउट so here uh, just let me cross check this anavasthiti ana sambhavacha yeah so no chhayatmadhi itaraha so no itara means chhayatmadhi itara na so whether you take, say that this uh, person is the pratibimba chhaya is pratibimba there तो छायात्मा स्वरूप आई कंटेक्ट स्वरूप प्रतिबिंब स्वरूप इज ऑफ समवन एल्स दैट इज नॉट द केस सो छाया और प्रतिबिंब के नॉट बी ऑफ एनी वन अदर देन ब्रह्म दैट इज द आइडिया देर अतः देर फोर वॉट सो पारिशेषाद ऑल्सो पारिशेषन आयात सिंस एनी वन एल्स के नॉट बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी वॉट यू आर लेफ्ट विथ इज अ सिंगल पॉसिबिलिटी इट हेज टू बी ब्रह्म अतः परमात्म अक्षिस्थान उपदिश्य सिद्ध अक्षिस्थने सो परमात्म अक्षिस्थने उपदिश्य सिद्ध सो हू इज शोन टू बी उपास्य इन अक्षी अक्षिस्थान इन दि आय सो अक्षी अक्षिणी अदरवाइज अक्षिणी स्थान ये स अक्षिस्थान परमात्मा अक्षिणी और अक्षी इट्स यू कैन से अक्षी और अक्षिणी अक्षी और अक्षिणी इन दी आय और आय इट से स्थान बोथ आर ओके विल से अक्षिणी स्थान इफ दैट इट से स्थान देन आय इज दिस स्थान और इन दी आय ही स्थान इधर वे यू लुक एट इट प्रतिबिंब इज इन दी आय देर फोर अक्षिणी स्थान य यस्य परमात्मन स परमात्म अक्षिस्थान तस्मिन् तस्मिन् विषय उपदिश्य और स उपदिश्य बोथ आर ओके अक्षिस्थान सो हू इज परमात्म वन हू इज परमात्म परमात्म बट परमात्मा इज देर सो दिस नॉट सप्तमी दिस एक प्रथमा प्रथमा एक वचन परमात्म अक्षिस्थान परमात्म उपदिश्य अतः सिंस दीज हेतु हैव बीन गिवन इट कैन नॉट बी एनी वन एल्स पारिशेषाद परमात्मा अक्षिस्थान हू इज प्रेजेंट इन दि आय परमात्मा हिमसेल्फ इज प्रेजेंट इन दि आय बिंब रूप परमात्मा इज प्रेजेंट इन दि आय एज प्रतिबिंब स एव उपदिश्य हियर दैट प्रतिबिंब Upasana, pratibimba upasana is really of that bimba who is Paramatma Brahma. It is idham. It is established. So the antar adi karanam is over. Now we will look at antar yami adi karanam in the next part. I think tomorrow uh, during our part it is pratham I think. So pratipad. So we will have on uh, somvara if I we don't have noise here. The noise continues but if I uh, i can't take a class if i can't sleep so unfortunately i have i am a light sleeper but you don't have to be a light sleeper when they are banging here so there is lot of uh, their preparation for something i think for uh, ganesh chaturthi so there are lot of uh, at night they are preparing unfortunately so anyway uh, i'll see you in the next part huh? i'll uh,
mention if uh, I cancel the Pata, but the tomorrow it's Prathama, so we'll not have Pata. I'll see you on Somvara, if all is well. Um, getting to the Mangala Charana. Amnayandika samsiddham adi madhyanta varjitam ananda ganama purnam atma jyoti rupasmhe tatsat. Dhaniwada namaskara. Namaskara. Thank you.